Hello guys, this is Joshua8600, back with more Grey's Anatomy, the video game. Um, as always, I have to do the mouse sensitivity. I didn't redo the George mission yet, but I don't think that matters. So we are actually on... Here, Act 5, Scene 6. Just a quick neurological exam, Mrs. Bellamy. Okay. Neurological exam. Mrs. Bellamy. Wasn't this like the, uh, the woman who was saying her throat was getting worse or more sore or something? Looks good. Oh, no, no. She was going with the seizure. That was the other one. The girl in the pit. Get the hell off of me! Sweetheart, please! You have to let the doctor help. Shut up, Melvin. You're useless. You've always been useless. So she's still seizing? I, I, I can't believe it. I mean, how could this be possible? Her real personality is the mean one? Wait, what? Oh, that's a funny face, too. Not as funny as the Christina one, because this is... Actually, more of a serious situation, but I don't like I don't like these clouds right now. F uh, flinging them is weird. Uh, that face is just does not work. I'm very sorry. That's actually really sad. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, you couldn't move those, okay. You know, Mr. Bellamy, people would understand if you weren't able to do this. What I mean is, there are many places I can refer you to that could help take care of your wife. I would never leave my wife. Never. No matter how her personality changes, she'll always be my wife. When you love someone, I mean really love someone, there is nothing that can stop you from wanting to be with them. That's one of the things I really like about Grey's Anatomy. Like, there are some memorable, patient, memorable patients and they can really affect the doctors. Hooray. I don't feel like a chief, but awesome. Hey, O'Malley. She's angry. Ugh, I think my locker is broken. It probably is now. What? Nothing. Listen, I need to tell you something. Go ahead, I'm listening. Hmm. You need to show that he's different from Alex. Okay. I just wanted to tear off most of the hand. So just leave a little bit there. Are you okay? <laughs> it's Alex! It's stupid Alex! And I can't talk to him about being upset because it would offend him or something. It's okay. It'll be okay. Oh my god, enough! Uh, it's not all about me, it's... What... What did you want to tell me, George? Bad joke. Oh wait, I see what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to move both of them to the target. See, it didn't do that in the other ones. You only had to do one of them. Just that I was madly in love with you. <laughs> of course. I have something that will cheer you up. Eventually, surgeons learn that being open to the unexpected is not so hard. A paracentesis? You're awesome! What's that? It's more surgery. Feel the insertion point. Okay, so far not difficult. Sterilize. Insert needle slowly. Okay, then turn knob. What does this do? 
can move two. Oh, you have to grip it from up here. Apply a new dressing. Oh no. Did that make my time go down? And my thing just fell. The thing that's holding my keyboard and mouse. That's you probably heard that. Thanks for your help. You didn't need my help. Oh, how sweet. Come on, I want to get to the action. Dr. Bailey? I'm busy looking for my baby, Karev. Have you seen Dr. Gray? Uh, Lexi Gray. I don't know, Karev. Try the pit. That's where an intern should be. Okay, how is this surgery? Hospital sprint. Have to follow up path when ready. Oh wait, I'm going this way. Whoops. I thought I was starting up there. That surgery. This is the guy with the glass shards, right? I heard I let you cut off my wedding ring. Oh boy. There are two of them. What's so? Shouldn't this shouldn't Callie be doing this? I mean she is the ortho surgeon. It's broken. Aren't you supposed to slap plaster on it or something? Wrap foot and cast. What? How did I mess that up? So nice. Done. I'm so skilled. <laughs> it's being prepared for the unexpected that poses a problem. No, he's angry. Uh, we're getting near the end of the f uh, near the end of the episode. Need some help? No, thank you. What exactly don't you need my help with? Mr. Henderson is having strange complications. I must have missed something, but I can't figure out what. Who is Mr. Henderson? Identify these anomalies. There's right there. Oh, the, oh, there's just one. It's to be right there. And right here. Okay, so target. I'll call that bullseye. Bullseye, heat wave, red flame, bolt. So bolt, red flame, heat wave, bullseye. Bolt, bullseye, red flame, heat wave. I don't know what that is. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Trigeminal neuralgia. That's how. The part of the tumor that couldn't be removed is compressing the trigeminal nerve. Can you fix it? Probably not. But I'm certainly going to try. That's the spirit. Thanks. I like the music change. What? You have to rip Christina out. I'm sorry I haven't been totally committed to you. I'm working on it, but I need you to meet me halfway. What are the rules of meeting halfway? I don't know all the rules, but the first rule is that you can't share information that may affect my best friend's career and expect me not to say anything. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hey. Rule number two. You can't go tell your friend said information without getting the whole story. Fair enough. Agreed? I'm gonna choose the loved one. 
Oh god, what is this? Oh, okay, if they're down there and the goals are up there. Okay, same thing. Just move those out of the way. That's that picture of flirty Meredith from the beginning. Sometimes you prepare as you go. Rule number three. We go back to my place and seal the deal. I like that rule. No comment. I really like uh, Mer Meredith and Derek together. Oh, this one. Pair on the spot. It's now or never. What are you gonna do? Tell her? Why are you here? Didn't see any boob jobs on the board. Ah, uh, funny, because he's a plastic surgeon and... Uh, how should you impress her? Lie or the truth? I think lying would be more funny. Thank you. This isn't like that stupid one with George. God. I've got a reconstruction for severe facial trauma. Feel the hockey ball to the nose. Nasty stuff. I'd like to watch. Too bad my pulmonary and arterectomy patient has a bat mitzvah to get to. I can give you a play-by-play -play tomorrow. Over breakfast. No thanks. But you can leave the Danish by my locker. I've been thinking about you a lot, Dr. Hahn. Erica. What exactly have you been thinking about me? Oh boy. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. I don't like Erica at all. So I think I like but I think the mind would be funny cuz she is just a vicious woman. And this one. They see I actually Sleep focused on that totally. One replacement you did under deep hypothermic circulatory arrest heard that line before is that how doctors flirt now what a drink tonight fine but it's not a date and you're paying when I pay it's a date so I guess those are his when rules I'm on a date I don't let people pay and that's her rule wonder which one she wants me what I'm not even going to comment anymore about that. I mean, that was pretty funny. I got it! The Davidson Fellowship, even with Mick Crappy's review. I <laughs> got... Congratulations. You, me, bottle of apple cider. Apple cider. Tempting. I'm back on in four hours. I can't. I'm sorry. I have plans. Uh, I don't want her to ditch Derek. Okay, these stupid clouds... At least sometimes it works. But... I don't know, the, the, the mechanics for them are weird. I'm not celebrating alone, that's pathetic. It's fine, get sidered up. We'll catch up later. It's fine? It's fine. Congratulations, Dr. Yang. You have been chosen as this year's Davidson Fellow. Blah, blah, blah. Please note that you must have not contracted any infectious diseases within the last two years to participate. Uh-oh. The last two years. Good thing you didn't sleep with Alex or George. Okay. Hey, it's Creepy Nurse Guy. Is that the scrub nurse from the pit? He's cute. And, of course, they'd have to say infectious disease because, you know, there's going to be an outbreak and... Why? Why... Do you like Creepy Nurse Guy? He's been stalking me all day. He even pulled some strings and got my letter. If you're lucky, someone will prepare for you. Oh. Fascinating. She's implying... What do I do? Oh yeah, his name's Vince. I don't, uh, I don't know what I want to do. Be honest. Oh, I didn't even cut it.
Be honest that you hate him. Okay, fine. But maybe there's an O. What? No way. No, you hate him. I'll be back. I want to talk to him about Hans Humpty today. Right. Of course you do. Just punch him in the face. Hey there. I figured you'd be out selling. Oh, of course. See, we can't choose not for that to happen. What? Get out, get out of the on-call room. Scene complete, and I have a feeling this is the end of the episode. Oh no, there's one more scene. Get the babe before Tucker arrives. Who is that? Is that Eddie? Aw, oh, she's sleeping. If you're not so lucky, someone will prepare instead of you. Mommy missed you. Yes, she did. So nice. I'm gonna say happy. Thank her. Stevens. What happened? Did I, uh, uh, shh. Sorry. Thank you. Yes, finally. I'm ten minutes away from a hot bath. But it's bad. I mean, it could... O'Malley needs my attention. Sample from Mr. Paulson. It's not mucus. What is it? Membrane. Plus his neck is swelling. But there will be some times. This isn't good. I know what disease this is. Because it was only because it was in the manual. Okay, so yawn um ice thing. Nighttime sky and blah. I don't know what that is. So, okay, I can go with Yon, then blah, and then nighttime sky, then that. Diphtheria. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'll be. He has diphtheria. So we. Oh, that's bad. What a crap! Uh oh, that means you have. You're probably gonna have to call the CDC. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Oh, I love these rhythm games. Run to Mr. Paulson's room. Don't let anyone near that man. I'll tell the chief we have a highly infectious disease on our hands. And uh-oh, this spells trouble for Christina's uh, Davidson Fellowship. When he threw up, is there a chance that Tuck is... When all the preparation in the world... Oh, I totally forgot about that, actually. We're all infected. Just isn't enough. Classic Grey's Anatomy right here. And... I think this is where I'm going to end this episode. Because episode one just ended. So what I'm going to do is quit game and there we go. It's a chance that everyone at Seattle Grace Hospital is infected if it's true that Eddie indeed has diphtheria. I'm Joshua8600 and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.